Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Star Trek Online. Oh, there's no one here. We were already starting off a little bit scuffed. It wouldn't be a live stream if we were for a little scuff. <laughs> you know, it's on YouTube, get a little chance of the scuff. Alright, uh, yes, we are back playing Star Trek Online after a brief break. Uh, from playing the game, uh, we are getting right back into it and continuing our escapades as the Borg Juggernaut 001. Um, and uh, in their current conquest of the Davidians. So we'll, uh, we'll pick up there where we left off last time. Hello, Belle. Welcome in. Welcome in. And Sinful. Welcome in, Sinful. Get that shout out done real quick. As always, be sure to check me out on my Twitter at Lord Castlestone, uh, at Kefka Castlestone, Blue Sky Social for the Blue know. Sky app, and Kefka game? underscore Castlestone on YouTube. Any title will do. So let's go ahead and get in here. We've been away for a while. It's time to get back into it. Assimilate the bunny! Haha, <laughs> the bunny is assimilated. It's time to assimilate you! <laughs> not yet, not yet. Uh, so we are imminently on the precipice of going live with our fourth wall uh, storefront. Um, so if you would like to get a, get a piece of Bunny Army merch, uh, we will have that available and ready soon. Everything's from the little star-studded hoodie that I'm wearing um, to similar mugs, uh, Bunny Army stickers, and some emote badges. And we will be updating that list frequently in order to uh, get out some of the other fun ideas that we have. But that's what we've got going on for the start, and uh, we will be happy to bring that to y'all soon. Oh, that is a new thing on Star Trek. That's interesting. Why is there no audio? The scuff! The scuff is real. Everything is down low. Is music still off too? Oh, music is off too. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, it's been a bit for Star Trek Online. I apologize. Launching with a pullover hoodie, zip hoodie, can, can shaped glass, coffee mug, pin badges with emotes, and a hollow sticker. Yes. Very awesome. Very awesome. All right. So we are here in the Pork Juggernaut 001. Not doing that one yet. Available. Well, that's replay. I don't want to do replay, I want to go to the next thing. Oh, yeah, this one. It's clear the Davidians are more of a problem than we initially thought. We know they're in the neutral zone. Now we know they're on Drazana Station as well, and according to Zamara, there have already been deaths there. In addition, she indicated that the lower levels of the station were a trouble spot. Those levels aren't used as part of the club there, and they haven't been maintained for years, and Ferengi are, of course, quite reticent to put any effort into maintenance that isn't absolutely necessary. That means we don't really know what's down there. Zamara's code should get you access. Take a lift down and check it out. Previous Starfleet encounters with Davidians have indicated that they will create nests around the temporal portals they use. So keep an eye out for anomalies. If we find the portal, we'll know where and when the Davidians are feeding. Oh, and I expect it to be messy down there. Don't forget to take an emergency beacon. I love this episode. It's one of the Until few next time. 
one of the few creepy episodes, and they nail it. <laughs> like, they really do. For the type of game that it is, yeah. They do a pretty damn good job of creating a creepy atmosphere. And I wish there were more episodes like that. I wish the I wish the Halloween event, Hearts and Minds, was as creepy as this, but it's not. <laughs> Uh, we have plans for a t-shirt, sweat lounge, pants, and a few yummy things that will likely require pure. Yeah! Exactly. I'm totally not getting that fo little mini photon rocket. As much as I love the idea of it, I'm probably going to put the game back down Welcome once I've done the series. Welcome to Rosanna! You're cleared for docking. We have everything you need for shore leave, and a few things that you didn't even know you wanted. Shopping, drinking, dining, entertainment. You'll find it all here. And don't forget the 77th rule of acquisition. If you break it, I'll charge you for it. 100 stream streams. Let's go, Bell. <laughs> that is awesome. At the assimilated triple. Wee. Want to show mom her Facebook birthday wishes? I didn't realize that she had the Facebook app on her iPad, so it was super easy this time around. It was her tippy tabbies, but it should be good. <laughs> all right, all we have to do is go down here to what lies. Beneath. Such a good episode. <laughs> uh, it's it seriously is. This is one of my favorite episodes in the game. Some of the other ones are ones that are like massive epic battles. Like, uh, the last episode in, uh, the uh, Dominion arc, where you're fending off waves of Herc. That one's one of my favorites as well. Love that one. There's a couple of other ones that are like that. There's one, I'm trying to think of the one that's in space. I can't think of the name of it as well, but it is, like, massively epic. Another one is the battle for Deep Space Nine around again. Dealing with the fucking Herc. That one's really good. Tippy tappy, like you're you're the one dancing around, right? Or you were her feet, you were running around doing everything for her. I'm guessing. Oh, you're the one typing for her. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. It's <laughs> <was> way off. <laughs> I'm thinking tippy tap dance or some shit. <laughs> Sir, I'm reading temporal fluctuations and trialic energy in these le levels of the station. Staying down here for too long could be hazardous. The interference also may make it difficult to contact the ship or to get a transporter lock if we need an emergency beam out. This level primarily contains power junctions and EPS conduits for the rooms above us. We need to reach the maintenance lift and take that down to the computer store. Or computer core. We're going to the computer store! <laughs> We're going to buy us a new computer! <laughs> Buddy drunk and he needs simple English. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, don't put out my business like that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright. Oh, uh, we already started. We got the hanging chains things right in your face. Oh, wait, I already have an emergency flashlight. Blip! Is this not already creepy? Trilic waves. There must be Davidians nearby. I expect that we will see more as we approach the area with the greatest concentration of trialic energy. Sir, I'm also picking up some intermittent readings from behind this... 
behind the door to our left. However, the interference from the trailing waves are making it hard to get accurate scans at a distance. I think we're supposed to go around this way. Oh no. A dead Ferengi. Whoa. Oh, did you see that? Oh, it was creepy. <laughs> And the light turns off. <laughs> Turn back on, damn it! <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> this Ferengi suffered from trial like radiation poisoning. It seems that he's been here for a while, sir. Even if the Davidians couldn't use his neural energy, it's still dangerous to be too close to their nest. There's nothing we can do for him now. Due to the temporal flux disrupting the transporters, we can't even beam the body out. Once we get out of here, we can notify station security. We are the Borg. We are the robot zombies. Why is this creeping us out? <laughs> Check distribution grid. Captain, it appears that the maintenance levels are suffering from intermittent power problems. The EPS conduits are probably overloaded due to the temporal fluctuations. The station's pretty old, sir, and many of these components are more than a century old. I'm seeing trialic surges near the maintenance lift and across multiple levels, but nothing that can be consistently tracked. Just want them to like show like a shadow in the corner. Can't go out here. Okay, whatever. Fine then. Don't let me out of that door. Open the door. Open the door. Poor Ferengi. He was a good goblin. A greedy goblin. But it didn't amount to a hill of beans. Door. Looks like this door is stuck, sir. We'll have to find another way around. One of the side maintenance passages should have an alternate route. Oh, shit! We got spouters! Spouters! They want worth assimilating. As much as I can engineer this, I want to do the side path because it has... It's more entertaining. We're gonna go around. Oh! Ow! Ow! <laughs> you dick! I don't remember being, the Davidian being there, I just remember it like slamming down. Side passages, holy shit. I don't remember the side passages. I remember that room. Was this really laid out how it was in the other bit? I have to look around. Oh, that door won't even open, okay. Sure. I'm gonna scan it just for the hell of it. This is an investigative affair. Our investigation might prove fruitful. See, we would miss that if we just went through the room. But I think I can still do it. Whee! Would have missed that awesomeness. I know, it's not that impressive, but still! <laughs> it's something you miss. Oh, it's Spooner! Kill the Spooner! We got arachnophobes in the chat. We can't let them 
We can't let this offense go unpunished. Let's protect our arachnophobe people. They are our preciouses. Yes. Oh, fuck are you! Zombies versus ghosts! You see it here! This too. Shit. Ambush this. Magic zombies versus space psychic space ghosts. Get the epic combat action here. <laughs> hey, Lusty, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> or not the follow, the lurk. <laughs> thank you for following too. To be sh to be true, <laughs> it's just been a bit. <laughs> what, Ronnie? What, baby? What's wrong? Oh, oh, oh. oh let's get that out of your ear. Oh, puppy. Mwah. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Down. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Goodness. Say hello to my little friend. Did I ser <laughs> seriously misspell that? There we go. Now we got it right. right <laughs> Fuck. I almost got her. Damn, that was nice. Oh my god, <laughs> Oh, that was so sexy! He fell to kiss the feet of his most cookies. Alright, Davidians are definitely getting more aggressive. They could have a lair somewhere in the lower levels. If they do, they'll become increasingly more violent as we approach. We must be ready for their attack. The Synchronic pro Proton Rifle should have a significant effect against the Davidians. The Proton Beam Mode will be especially effective while the Davidians are phase shifted. I mean, is it really? <laughs> it's not that great a weapon. <laughs> but do we want to do it for the bit? Nah, uh, let's stay Borg. Let's stay Borg. Oh, my arms are covered in... Doggy nose germs. It's been a while since I've done this mission. Someone's put the lift on emergency lockdown. We'll have to override the lockdown code to access it. That should do it. I wonder why someone would lock down the lift in the first place. Alright. This isn't the computer core level. Sir, it appears that the lift is stuck. We're somewhere on a maintenance level for environmental controls and waste recycling. We'll need to track down the damage junctions on this floor and repair or bypass them before we can take the lift to the computer core level. Someone's locked the door with the encryption key. It looks like the key itself is a kiloquad log. Sir, if we don't find that key, we could be stuck here for a long time. Are you there? Captain? 
your signal is it's too much interference, sir. Looks like we're on our own. Zombie Lord Pirate Captain. <laughs> we don't talk like regular board. We're just like, God fucking damn it. <laughs> this is where things get interesting, isn't it? That darn Muckledurn just done quit. Oh shit! Just appeared behind us, trying to suck out our burns. But we're zombies. We have no burns. Burns be dead. Be it. I don't know why I went country still. <laughs> the green lights, it beckons to all. <laughs> like it's literally part of it, and I'm ignoring it. Hey, Foodski! Yeah, Star Trek game. We were playing it before, and we took a break to focus on Subnautica. And now that we're done with Subnautica, we're back at it. Doing the uh, requested Borg run. So we are pretending to be the Borg. There's not really a Borg faction in the game, but you can, you can get the cosmetics, you can get the outfits, you can get the weapons, kits, ships. So we're doing everything that's Borg tech, pretending to be the Borg. Oh, fuck you. And we are apparently Space zombies versus space ghosts. Which is why I fucking love this mission. Because it's so unhinged from the rest of Star Trek. I mean, don't get me wrong, Star Trek has its, like, creepy episodes. But this one goes the extra effort to make it, like, video game horror game. In the process. Like, <laughs> it tries at a jump scare. It tries to be eerie and creepy. <laughs> it's not perfect by far, granted, but it's so different from the rest of the game, and that's why I love it. Really? You're breathing on me, dog. Stop. <laughs> Puppy. Oh, the light went off again. Forgot when they appear, the light goes off. Hello? There's someone out there. Please help me. 
voice is coming from the communications console on the wall, Captain. It's communications console. Hello? Is someone there? You people in Belly gonna be in a be a bot we do a merch, okay? Who is this? Who shot you? I'm... I'm not sure. I, I didn't get a good look. He was so fast. Please, you have to find a way to open this door and get me out of here. I'm activating the manual override. Try to reach the release lever. Oh, Prophet, no! He's back! He's... No! <laughs> Multiple phaser burns and contusions, sir. This woman was murdered. The wounds are still warm. She was killed just a few seconds ago. There are no other exits or entrances in this room, and transporters are offline. How could she be killed if she was alone in a locked room? Magic! No. <laughs> you got relay. Oh, spiders! Oh, we nuked them. Literally. Log entry. Log entry supplemental. I've upgraded a few of the components on this level, including remote overrides for bleed valves on environment controls, hollow emitters to expedite further repairs, and security overrides in case of emergency. I'm starting to suspect that the low-level radiation I've detected on these decks has affected the station inhabitants, and that some are showing signs of transient acute schizophrenia and paranoia. I'll have to maintain contact silence for now, so that they don't interfere while I'm trying to repair the systems. Once I've corrected the problems causing the radiation leaks, we can deal with the symptoms. Projecting. Log entry supplemental. My work here will take far longer than I originally anticipated. Fortunately, I've engaged a safety interlock on the maintenance lift, so no one will come down here without me knowing about it. I found several program errors that have purged the affected subroutines. The work is much easier now. Soon, everything will be under control. It's kind of interesting how, like, he's still doing good things at first as his programming tries to do the right thing, but he comes up with a psychotic reason for doing it, a paranoid reason for doing it, until it's just full batshit. <laughs> like, you can see the progress of the degradation. Look at back, Bell. But what does that mean, chat? Figured it out yet? Have you discovered the mystery? I see you. What will you do? <laughs> <laughs> Did that get anybody's attention? <laughs> it's just whoop! <laughs> creepy, 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 creepy. Terrorize. <laughs> oh, I fucking love this episode. <laughs> oh. I I don't I have the 
most fun with this episode in all of Star Trek. Like, it is so my favorite. <laughs> so I gotta ask, when I BRB, you said something about the timing. What was the timing? I missed it. So it happened... So it played the... the uh, it, uh, it played the audio right after the woman finished screaming. And it was like, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> like, that was like a cave of hell. Like, I thought that was funny. <laughs> Oh shit! Who the fuck are you? Someone trying to murder me! He just vanished. I can't assimilate holograms. Malfunctioning hologram. No wonder. The triolic energy would have degraded his program and caused instability. And the Davidians didn't bother it because it had no neural energy for them to feed upon. Sir, it looks like the encryption key for the door might correspond to a subroutine embedded in the hologram's mobile emitter. We should be able to use it to open the door. Mobile emitters are still rare outside of Starfleet, Captain. The staff here must have spent quite a lot of latinum to obtain one. If you ask me, Bellin might be selling more than drinks in Dabo. It would be best if someone keeps an eye on him, but I have a feeling Franco Drank is doing just that. Log entry supplemental. The strange power fluctuations aren't related to the problems in the power subsystems on the upper decks. So I'm looking into the possibility of feedback damage or spikes in the environmental systems. It could take some time to find the problem and make repairs, though. Particularly if I need to use the replicators to create replacement components. But Balan is loath to allow use of the replicators for anything more than blood wine and gramillion sand peas. I mean, this is dirty, uncomfortable, and thoroughly disagreeable work. Naturally, as soon as the job involves mucking around in the recycled atmosphere and waste processing, I get the short straw. 
Or hologram was abused. <laughs> we just send the hologram to do it. You don't mind. We paid our money. We don't have to pay him any further. He's free labor. Well, once he's made us back what we owe, what he owes us. <laughs> This is it. We've made it to the computer core level. On the station, the core itself is down a long ramp area. Past some regular rooms. We should head there as quickly as possible. The light does so little. Whoa, okay. Another locked door. This one doesn't seem to have any special codes. We should be able to just open it from the secondary security console just down the hallway. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, why did I hit that one? They do the same amount of damage! I can't get them through my thick skull! Double back to the secure door that we saw earlier in the hallway. Okay. It'd be dork down here. A lot of, a lot of dorkness. A lot, a lot of dorkiness. Yes. this doorway and down the ramp. There are two exits of this room, both along the same wall. To head toward the core, we need to take the southernmost door of the east wall, follow the hallway, and then turn left to go down the ramp. That is, uh, very old school uniform you have there, sir. Sir, this person is from the 23rd century. The Davidians must be bringing their victims through time. We have to stop them before they're responsible for any other deaths. They could disrupt the timeline. I just... I did. I decided to explore and got... Oh. Hi, guys! Gonna fight? No, you're just gonna be creepy. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Hello there. Watching me. 
paranoia, paranoia, everybody's coming to get me! Oh my god, do the effect! I think we got him. Might as well. What other reason was this to come in here? They <laughs> said, oh, oh god, okay. I'm not gonna lie, you think you gained five pounds today? <laughs> oh, you got all the tasty treats. <laughs> this appears to be a regular room for the computer core's power systems. The Davidians are probably leeching power from the station to keep their gate active. We could use this console to set up a power spike that we can trigger near the computer core, which might disrupt the Davidians and their game. Birthday dinner I actually got a stuffed Yorkshire pudding for supper. Fucking huge. <laughs> nice. Oh shit! More ghosties! Always have a normal strike ready. Always. I got salmon with this fruit chutney, and I got meatloaf. It's a comfort food for him, and it's super hard to kill a meatloaf. <laughs> I don't know about super hard, but I, I can see where he's coming from. I don't think I've ever had a bad meatloaf. Except for one time where I might describe it as a little dry. That's about it. Oh, that was foppish as hell, wasn't it? <laughs> that likes any bee love. This looks like a field control station for the lower levels of the station. Can... Ah! Oh my god. Hi, Nasso. <laughs> Dude, I want more coffee. <laughs> And we're back. This looks like the field control station for the lower levels of the station. We can set up the field systems here so that we can activate them in the computer core area to counteract the Davidians' phasing abilities. That would push them out of sync with our universe. Sounds great! Hey, what's up, Tsunami? Well, what plan ever Windows planned? I know, right? <laughs> well said. Awfully bright in here. Regulate core field systems. And that's why! Spooners! Spoon! I think they're dead, Jim.
really trying to lay into that arachnophobia. Hello. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> Oh, hello! Hello! Y'all just killed a bunch of dudes. Isn't that lovely? Oh, we got a big dude right behind me. Fighting the boss in the doorway. Why the hell not? War is chaos. Combat irregularities happen. Not gonna be all out on a grand battlefield. Sometimes you just get stuck in a fucking door fighting for your life. <laughs> Hitting, I'm hitting my rotation too fast. I can't use any of my other abilities. Oh my god, go down! It really is, boss. Holy fuck, I think I got him. I think we did it. Sir, the Davidians' time portal heads back to the 23rd century. There's no telling how much trouble the Davidians may be causing in the past where the technology to detect them just doesn't exist. Once we get readings on the portal, we should take them back to Deep Space K7. The computing facilities are far more extensive than what we have on the Borg Juggernaut 001. I beg to differ, we're a Borg ship! <laughs> And they might be able to find a way to shut down the portal. The barbecue sauce I tend to use is either the brown sugar, chicken, and rib. And if mom would use a cup of ketchup, I do three fourths ketchup and one fourth barbecue. Although we use that much just to help the whole numbers and not have weird math. It sounds good. Oh yeah. I always want to go up the ramp, but it's literally down. The distortion for the portal is intense here, and it's difficult to process all this information. We should be able to compensate enough to beam out, though. We need to take this information back to their nearest starbase, K7, for analysis. Their computers are powerful enough to process it. Yay! It worked! Okay. <laughs> Let's go to K7. Oh man, that sucked! So much! We'll try to finish it out at the very least. Okay, fuck. That was horrible. No wonder they hit these missions off. They are broken. Space K7. Welcome to Deep Space K7. Would you like to dock? Yes, please. Okay, where? 
Oh, these computers. Okay. Analyze scan data. Whoa, okay. Weird emote. Preliminary analysis. Temporal incursion consistent with Divinian time portal technology. Approximate lead date, star date 2715.6, Earth Standard Year 2265. Davidian portal based on phase shifted tachyon spin supported by draw from Drozana station power supply. Can the portal be safely closed or used? Portal suffers from instability due to quantum particle entanglement with phase shifted particles. Portal can be enlarged or accessed with modulated directional energy when phase shifted entangled matter reaches critical point. Sir, this means that when the triolic energy surges peak, we could remodulate an energy weapon, even a hand phaser, to use the portal and travel back in time. We could stop the Davidians at the source. Now that we know the Davidians have a portal to the past and approximately where they are focusing their attention, I see no other choice than to send you and your crew back there to stop them before they kill again. I'll be honest. Time travel is a tool. At times, it is a useful one. I know Starfleet has hundreds of regulations about temporal incursions, but my job is to preserve the Federation, not make Admiral Quinn and the rest of the suits at Starfleet Command happy. If we break a few rules along the way, so be it. I need to make some preparations before you can proceed. I will contact you when the time is right. Drake out. Yeah. And we got the trial of pattern. Until needs. next time. Which is a great buff. So anyway, that is going to be it for uh, this for this for uh, episode for tonight. Uh, we will be doing three more. So those of y'all who are watching live on Twitch, stick around. Uh, but we are going to take a quick break. And uh, for those of y'all watching on YouTube, I will see y'all next time. Bye bye. <laughs>